This is a homily for 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year B. Choose today whom to serve. This is a message from today's readings. Joshua asks the people of Israel to choose whom to serve, whereas in the Gospel passage, Christ asks his disciples whether they also choose to leave him as other followers had left. We are invited today to ask ourselves this question. Why did I choose to serve the Lord up to today? We are called to renew our commitments as the people of Israel at Shechem. In every situation in our daily life, we make choices that has consequences to our lives. It is the same scenario that we find in the first reading where Joshua assembles the elders, judges, leaders, and the scribes of Israel so that they may renew their commitment to God. First and foremost, Joshua, their leader, chose to serve God. This was a personal conclusion after having interacted with God on several occasions. Moreover, the people of Israel at Shechem chose to serve the Lord God. Why did they choose him? Because he is the God, one who saved them. He liberated them from slavery in Egypt. Second, he is the God who protects. He protected them during their journey towards the promised land and above all when they were in the desert. In fact, as they were in the desert, God gave them food and drink. Therefore, they chose to serve the God of their ancestors rather than other gods of the Amorites. Today, I may have been born in a Christian family, but why did I choose to serve God? Is there any relationship with God or because my family is a Christian, therefore I chose to serve God? Through this, we are invited to have some personal experience with God and at the same time, make some personal commitment in serving this very God. One may ask, at what point have you ever personally made a choice to serve God? It requires renewal each time we backslide. Indeed, the people of Israel did the renewal of their commitment at Shechem. Our Shechem could be a Sunday gathering that we have so as to renew our personal commitment or engagement with God. What are the advantages of choosing to serve God? Alongside what is enumerated in the first reading, we find a very excellent advantage mentioned in the second reading by St. Paul. The image of the body and its parts has a lot to teach us in this regard. First, the interconnectedness between the body parts to the main body for smooth functioning. Christ as the head and us as parts of the body, we are called to remain connected to Christ so as we function smoothly in our Christian life. As a matter of fact, no part of the body would survive on its own unless it is attached to the whole body. Hence, each body part functions in reference to the whole body. What brings the nutritive elements for a smooth functioning in this body of Christ is the love that St. Paul mentions in the second reading. In a nutshell, the advantage to serve God is first and foremost to benefit from his salvation so as to live in peace with one another and with God himself. Turning to the gospel passage of today, we note that from the 17th Sunday, 
we have been reading chapter 6 of St. John's Gospel. But on this 21st Sunday, we have the conclusion about the bread of life. At the same time, we read about the actions taken by the crowd that followed Christ after the miracle of the multiplication of bread, that is, they practically abandoned Christ simply because they had failed to grasp and to believe in Christ as the bread of life. In addition, the crowd left following Christ because his teachings and doctrines were intolerable according to them. The doctrine about the bread of life, which means that Christ is this bread of life, and he invites us to partake in this Eucharistic meal, or rather heavenly banquet, so as to have eternal life. They failed to believe all this, and the only option for them was to choose to live following Christ. Anyhow, this action makes Christ to turn to his disciples and ask them, do you want also to go away? Indeed, this question provokes the disciples to make an important choice, just like Joshua asked the people of Israel to choose whom to serve. In other words, Christ asks his disciples to make a choice and renew their commitments while following and serving him. Generally speaking, God liberated the people of Israel from slavery so that they may serve him. Exodus chapter 7 verse 16. In a more elaborated way, the people of Israel chose to serve God because he liberated them from slavery. He provided them with basic needs in the desert and even more importantly, he protected them during their journey towards the promised land. On the other hand, the disciples chose to follow and serve the Lord because he has the message of eternal life. Indeed, the Holy Eucharist gives us eternal life whenever we partake in it, of course, with faith. Man left alone chooses the bad instead of the good. For example, Adam and Eve, who chose to eat the forbidden fruit. However, with the grace of God, we are able to use our freedom well by choosing the good and avoiding the bad. Therefore, on this 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time, EMB, we are called to renew our commitments to God and continually serve Him. To conclude, we are invited to choose the God who saved us by sending as his only begotten son to die and resurrect so that he may save us from slavery of sin. Let us test and see. Let us serve him and love him because he gives us eternal life. Amen. Have a blessed Sunday.